Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you and it's nice to be back here in the bathroom. Right, for today's shave, I'm going something very, very current and something very, very old. And that's not just me. The old bit, I meant. <laughs> uh, the, the current bit is uh, a new soap from Lothar Grooming. Uh, here it is here. It's called Namka. Or Namka. Namka or Namka. Uh, yeah, Lothar Grooming. Um, you might have seen a lot of these reviews of this soap. Um, here it is here. Let me show you the uh, the little bit of blurb about the soap, uh, just describing the scent and stuff like that, the scent notes uh, and the ingredients, and then we'll come back. So that's all the uh, description, the scent, and the uh, ingredients of the soap. Yeah, here it is here. It's based on uh, Diptyque's Oud Palau. Not a scent I'm familiar with, but it's beautiful. Absolutely. It smells like a very high-end cologne. It's got the oud, it's got um, a little bit of rose, amber, vanilla, sandalwood, saffron, cypriol, jasmine, musk. But you get the oud, you get the, the hint of rose, yeah, it's very nice. Um, it's quite a soft, softish soap. Um, this is just brand new out. Um, Johnny at Lothar very kindly sent me this to, to try, test out. Yeah, I love the scent on it. It's a beautiful um, autumn, winter scent. It's uh, it's spicy, there's oud in it. Um, if you like that sort of scent, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's a good soap. Right, well, it's a good scent. I don't know how it'll perform, but going by the... Uh, the other Lothar grooming that I've tried, it should uh, perform pretty well. Right, let me show you the razor. Uh, going vintage today, this is the vintage part of the shave. This is a vintage Gillette Super Speed. Twist it open. Yeah, very, very nice. Very, very kindly sent by a, a viewer. Um, well, here right there. Uh, Robert Spritzer in Florida. He had a spare one. He said, do you want me to send it? Yes, please. That would be great. I've never tried one. I've used it before. Um, I've had it for a couple of years now. Robert sent it over, uh, but very good condition. Yeah, twist it open, these old vintage Gillettes. This is from about 1948 to 50, something like that. Um, you know, by the notches and stuff on here and there's no date code on it. Um, I think Gillette started putting the date codes on about 1951, something like that. Right, so that's the razor. The blade I'm gonna be putting in that is a brand new, I've not used one of these for a long, 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 long time. A Voskod. Voskod. That's my uh, Russian. I'm going to use a Voskod blade. Definitely. Why, why do you, why, everyone speaks Russian, they, they, they slow down. Hello, why do you speak like this? <laughs> Voskod. So that's the blade I'm going to use. Right, so let me uh, put that in the razor. Yeah, I've not, I don't know why I've not used one of these for a long time just uh, fall out of favour to other blades, I guess. I've got so many blades, um, as I'm sure a lot of people do. I think there's one glue dot on this. Let me just, uh, it's double wrapped, so it comes in this other wrapper, but there is a couple of glue dots, but you can't really see them. There you go, Voskod, Teflon coated. And on the back that said, Voskod, Teflon coated. Right, let me just put that in the super speed. Just drop it on there, on the middle, twist the bottom. Not an adjustable, so um, yeah, nothing to worry about, tighten up. Good bit of overhang on these old vintage Gillettes. Right, that's the razor, Gillette, super speed. Uh, the brush, an old brush that I've had for a long time. Um, here it is here, the Razor Rock Plus Soft. This was one of the first brushes that came out after the uh, L'Occitane Plus On, it kind of the first synthetic generation of knots. But very good, I love it. It's a great little brush, Barbara style handle. Um, yeah, I just like it. It's simple, it's a good knot. It's a little bit floppy, not much backbone to it, but it works. So that's it. So how are you good people doing? How's things? It's uh, sunny here today. 
It's past June and July and it's still sunny. I know, in Scotland, I know. Hard to believe. Right, let's uh, get lathered up. I'll wet the brush, give it one flick, and we'll just go straight in to the tub. I'm just going to gather the tips. I was going to bowl lather this. Actually, I, I seen a, I watched a couple of videos recently with um, Sugar Daddy. Does anybody follow him on YouTube? Um, wet shaver from the States. He's, um, he's very um, thorough in his shaves. He puts little bits of water in, but his bowl lathering is fantastic. Really good. Um, yeah, lots of different techniques and he talks, to, talks you through it like, um, you know, he goes into detail and stuff. I like that sort of thing. Very passionate, very passionate man when it comes to shaving. Look at this. Whoa, scent on this is beautiful. Really, really nice. Now, um, when Lothar Grooming first came out, some people said that the, the scents were very, very light. So, um, Johnny at Lothar listened to those people um, and he's made the scents a little stronger. But the reason that they weren't strongly scent in the first place, if you put too much essential oils and stuff in it, it's, it can irritate your skin. And uh, I think Johnny's whole thing at Lothar was to, um, you know, to avoid that sort of thing. So that's why the, the first batch of soaps were very lightly scented, but these ones much, much stronger. Yeah, probably about, I would say about a seven or an eight scent strength. So that's good. It's good that an artisan listens to his um, customers and people that buy the soaps and stuff like that. So good, good stuff. Right, let me wet my face. And we'll uh, go with this. Let's paint on to start. Yeah, I was going to use the uh, the bore brush as well, and I was going to bowl lather, and I was going to do this, and but I thought to myself, well, I'm not sure how that new bore knot will perform, and I uh, I just wanted a brush that I knew how it would perform. Uh, just to get my thoughts on this soap. That's a really strong smell of um, oud. Really nice. Blended with the rose. You can, uh, it's not, uh, I wouldn't say it's overly floral at all. But, um, nice lather here. Needs, needs to be hydrated, needs water in it. Right, let's just dip the whole brush. Paint some lather in. Dip the whole knot again. Yeah, it's, uh, some of you might know this is my favourite part of the shave, <laughs> the lathering process, creating this lather. And this brush is doing a great job. This, it really does smell like a high-end cologne. I'm not familiar with um, Oud Palau by Diptyques, um, so I don't know anything about the scent, if it's a match for that or it's just inspired. I think it's inspired by that. Right, more water, more water. Yeah, it's getting to where I want it to be now. Adding water, that's what um, gives the soap its uh, slickness and stuff. One more dip. Gives it that shine, you can see. Well, I hope you can see it's coming across now. It's starting to give it a, a shine. But um, I know Lothar Grooming soaps are very thirsty which is uh, what I really enjoy in the soap. I like to add a lot of water, take my time lathering. Yeah, look at that brush. You can see the, set the, the shine on that starting to come through now. 
Yeah, it's starting to fall off the brush, look at that. That's great. <laughs> Yeah, I'll put links to um, uh, Sugar Daddy's channel and you can go and check out his uh, bowl lathering, stuff like that. It's like everyone else, everyone likes their lather to be different, but um, um, he just, uh, I like the way he explains things. Right, that looks absolutely amazing. Right, let's uh, heat up this super speed. With the Voskhod blade. Uh, let's go with this and see how it feels. Nice. Great slickness on that. Yeah, this isn't, a, it isn't a, an aggressive razor at all. Just uh, making sure that the doors are closed properly. Yeah, it's not an aggressive razor. It's doing its job nicely. Someone asked me in the comments, how do these um, vintage Gillettes, how do they hold up to the, uh, the modern day razors? You know, the sort of modern uh, stainless steel stuff. And, and my answer was, well, this is um, over 60 years old. <laughs> still looks great, still performs, still works. You know, it just goes to show. But when these were made, these old razors, back in the 50s and 60s, 70s even, they were built to last. Like today's um, throwaway culture, everything's just uh, use it a few times, then just bin it and get a new one. These were built to last. Yeah, cut through there nice. Yeah, I'm not used to Vintage Gillette for a, a little while. Right, let's have a feel about, yeah. Nice reduction in the beer growth, which is what you're looking for from the first pass. That feels good. Great slickness on that soap. The residual slickness is excellent. Right, let me rinse and come back for the second pass. Okay, that's that rinsed. Yeah, very good slickness. Those of you that have used um, Lothar grooming soaps, you'll know they're um, absolutely top-notch performers. Right, back to this uh, Razor Rock Plus Soft. Yeah, this really does, um, it smells like a really, really nice cologne. The scent on this. Well hydrated, which is great. Really good, great lather. Feels lovely on the face. Yeah, it's great to see a, a UK artisan making such good soap as this and a great scent to boot as well. Really, really good. Namka. I looked up what that means. 
it's a Tibetan for um, it's some kind of wool that you uh, put on something in a figure of eight so it's kind of endless a bit like the amount of soaps I have <laughs> endless <laughs> right that looks good okay back to this uh, vintage Gillette super speed with the Voss God lovely Yeah, just need to be careful going around the nose and ears with these uh, the little bits sticking out the side there, little tabs. But that blade feels nice in the razor. Yeah, I've not used a, one of these blades for a long time. I think I used one once, and it, uh, it must have been a bad batch, which can happen it with blades. I can't remember what razor I, I, I used it in. Might have been one of the, uh, the single edge things. Was it the Focus R48? And uh, I looked at the blade like really close up. I took a picture of it with my my phone camera, and then zoomed in, and the edge of the blade was like. It looked like a, a, a saw. <laughs> it had teeth. And I thought, I wonder if that's why it's, uh, it felt so rough. When I was using it. Of course, you can't see it with a, a naked eye. You can't uh, tell. But just when I used it, I thought, man, that's rough. Yeah, I heard there was um, some issues with the Voss Hod uh, quality control, but I think they've maybe fixed it now, which is good. Feels great. Bubbly and smooth. Yeah, that's excellent. Wow. I can still smell that soap. <laughs> really nice. Right, let me rinse. I'll come back for the third pass. Okay, that's that rinsed off. Right, I'm just going to take what's in the puck here, just uh, so not waste, not to wait, waste it. <laughs> Back to the brush. Yeah, still plenty of lather here. I'm just going to dip the tips a little bit to give it a little bit more water. You can still take it, look. <laughs> yeah, this, um, this scent, this, the scent strength, I said it's about a six, maybe about a seven, probably about a seven actually. Sometimes when you get um, oud scents, they can be a little bit overpowering, but this seems to be just um, spot on. It's not too strong. Sometimes oud can be a bit, wow. It's uh, too much, but this is just uh, the uh, the rose and the sandalwood and vanilla. Kind of round it out really nicely. Feels great on the face. That brush, right. Back to the super speed against the growth. Wow. That feels really nice. Right, I'm going to do half of my face. Um, to start with, rather than going over here, here, down here, we, <laughs> I'm just going to try and do it um, in parallel. Ooh, parallel curvy.
I thought you were doing half, half and half. Shut up. Just leave me be. <laughs> Just leave me be. Mm, nearly. I nearly stopped with the razor there and just, <laughs> but uh, I got away with it. That feels lovely. How's your shaves going, guys and gals? Good? Hope so. Thanks for all the comments on the, the recent videos. I've, uh, I think I'm up to. I think I'm up to speed with them all. Right, that feels great. Wow. Right, let's have a little rinse. Cold water. See what's uh, see what's left here. Yeah, usual. Usual, usual. Down this uh, jawline. Good. Yeah. The ghost tap. Or is it faucet you guys call it in the States? You say everything wrong. Faucet. It's not a faucet, it's a tap. <laughs> sidewalk. It's not a sidewalk, it's a pavement. It's not it's not the trunk, it's the boot of a car. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit around here. Let me just put some soap on that. Just felt a bit, felt a bit rough there. Yeah, you can hear that. Just right around there. That's it. What a great razor. Still working after all these years. Right, good stuff. Right, little rinse. Nice, very nice. Right, let's take what's in this brush. Yeah, can you see that lather? Looks, that looks great. Brilliant. Right, face wash time. Mm. Right, rub this in, rinse it off with hot and cold, see for the post. Wow, quality, quality, quality. Very nice, great. Right, post shave, one item. The Matching Splash Lothar Grooming Namka. Um, here's a look at the ingredients of the splash. There we go, so that's the ingredients. Yeah, I think um, Johnny has just recently started making these. So um, he was worried about the packaging and stuff like that. Nice restrictor on it. Let's see how it smells. I'll give it a good splash of that. If it smells anything like the soap. Oh, that feels nice. Ho ho ho! Wow. 
Not much burn to that at all. Don't know if there's is there alcohol in that? A little bit, yeah. But hardly any burn. Yeah, lots of skin food in it. You can feel it going on. It's kind of more. It's not like drying in right away like a a heavy based, heavy alcohol based um, splash. Oh, there's the oud coming through now. Wow, that is very nice. I probably put in too much. Like it looks a bit greasy, but that will uh, absorb it into the skin. A couple minutes. Very nice. Yeah, great scent. It almost smells um with the oud in it. It almost smells a little bit not smoky, but kind of. It has more depth to it than the soap, if that makes sense. It's more oud forward, which is great. Very nice. Yeah, it has that, um, I can feel it has that kind of tacky um, finish, which once that dries in, it'll be really smooth. So pretty good. Pretty good. Right, fantastic shape. I really enjoyed that. Uh, let me show you what we've used. The brush for today was the good old reliable Razor Rock Plus Soft. Uh, there it is, all cleaned out. Yeah, great little brush. Uh, I think I'll always keep this in the den. Whipped up the lather, no problems. Star of the Shave, Lothar Grooming, Namka. Yeah, Johnny's continued with these um, nice black, kind of matte finish tubs with the logo on the top uh, and the uh, all the information on the side, on the side label here, the ingredients and stuff like that. Yeah, very good. Um, it's a soap that, is it easy to lather? Yes, it is easy to lather, but uh, get the right amount of water dialed into it and it performs absolutely fantastically. I would say it's, it's as good as any soap um, out there at the moment. If you dial it in, get the water content just right. Uh, just add little bits of water at a time until you get that kind of shine and... Uh, yeah, well, you'll know what I mean. Um, that's what makes these soaps work the best is adding water to them. But um, a great soap, great scent, um, kind of oud forward, but oud, what did I say, um, inspired by Diptyque's Oud Palau. So if you know that scent, you'll know what this smells like. But it's very nice. It does smell like a high-end cologne. The eraser was the Gillette uh, Super Speed, 1948 to 50. Inside that, a brand new Voskhod Teflon coated blade. There's the Packaging for those, very colourful. Yeah, a blade I've not used for a long time, but it worked well on this razor. Uh, it felt smooth, nice and sharp, done the job. Done what I needed to do. Right, uh, three passes, pickups, face wash, beautiful scented soap. Uh, finished it off with Lothar Grooming Namka. Namka Splash. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. Um, yeah, it's got that tacky feel now, I can feel that. But once that dries in, um, I just know that that's going to be super, super smooth and silky. I just know it will. Right, there we go. That's the shave for today. Very nice, very enjoyable. Uh, thank you so much for watching, if you're still here. Um, I really appreciate uh, all your views and comments and likes and hitting the like button and subscriptions and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I just... It's a great way for me to interact with other shavers. Uh, doing it this way just if you've got any questions or you want to say anything or you want to ask me anything or you want to I don't know I was going to say if you want to give me some abuse in the comments well that's fine you know some people might want to do that but I don't care I could take it I'm Scottish you know Yeah, <laughs> some people look at the screen like, who's this guy? What an asshole. <laughs> there you go. Right, um, yeah, that's everything for today. Thank you very much. Uh, have yourselves a great rest of this week and into the weekend coming up soon. Very, very good. Uh, I'll see you in the next shave. Shave. I'll, I'll see you in the next shave. Shave. I'll see you in the next uh, video. Let's just say video. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves. See you soon.